So hello and welcome everybody to another week of Top 5s. This week our Top 5 is Top 5 Activision games. That sounded really weird because I said it twice. Top 5 Activision games. Bit yeah. random this one. Yeah. But we decided like, we actually have quite a lot of games like, thinking about Activision, you know? Yeah. So we And decided... these are our Top 5 favourites. So obviously, you know, don't be like, oh, why well, is that the number one? Because it's our number one. Like, yeah, our experience Remember, of these games. if you want to do that, put it down in the comment section below. Yeah, what's your favourite game made by Activision? What's yeah. you doing by them? Yeah. And anyway... Let's get on with the video. Hope you enjoy it. Goodbye. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 is the second skateboarding game of the Tony Hawk series. It was first released in 2000 for the Sony PlayStation. It was later released on the N64, Dreamcast, Game Boy, Mac, Microsoft Windows, iOS and Xbox. You take control of a professional skateboarder and complete a number of tasks in each level, such as collecting skate and getting high scores, and you have two minutes. Completing tasks also results in a cash reward which can be used to purchase skill improvements, better tricks and new skateboards. There are other types of levels which are competition levels. In these you have free one minute sessions and at the end you get judged and depending on your score you obtain you will receive a medal and will be able to advance. For us one of the main reasons why we chose this game is for nostalgia. We played this game probably too much growing up. Nevertheless it's a great game and we can still pick it up now and play it. Fun fact wow! The game features Spider-Man as one of the unlockable secret skaters. Activision, who made this game, also hold the rights to create games based on the Marvel comic characters. Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. This is a platform game based on the Pixar movie Toy Story 2 and its sequel to the first game. The game starts at Anders, where you see Al McWiggin kidnapping Woody and it's your job to rescue him. You fight your way through different levels such as Andy's house, Andy's neighbourhood, Al's toy barn, the penthouse and the airport terminal. At the airport terminal you have a final battle with Stinky Pete and complete the game upon defeating him. Picking this game had quite a lot to do with the movies as watching them growing up made us want to play the games. It's great fun playing as one of your favourite Toy Story characters and getting to explore different scenes from the movie. Fun fact WOW! In Andy's room board game boxes of TT Games and more tales can be found. These reference the game's developer, Traveller Tales. Spider-Man Spider-Man was released on the PlayStation in 2000. It was later ported to different consoles, including the Game Boy Color, N64, Dreamcast and Microsoft Windows. Spider-Man is an action-adventure beat-em-up video game based on the Marvel's Spider-Man universe. So you take control of Spider-Man and must go through each level by trying to reach the exit or completing a certain task. Along the way you'll fight many different villains such as Venom, Scorpio, Rhino, Mysterio and Dr. Octavius. We decided to include this game as it is a really enjoyable game. There is a lot of variety to each level and each boss fight is very entertaining. We played this game a lot. Due to this we find the game to feel pretty short being able to play it quite fast. But no matter how many times we have played it, we always find it enjoyable and fun experience. Fun fact! Wow! In the cheats menu, if you enter in curse words, Spider-Man will pop up and change the words into nice words. Guitar Hero 3 Guitar Hero 3 is a music rhythm game and is the third instalment of the Guitar Hero series. So most people have heard of Guitar Hero and you know it's pretty straightforward. You have the career mode where you can beat each setlist in a gig to move on to the next setlist. Along the way you have a couple of battles with different characters until you beat Lou at the end. Once done you can play the songs on quick play and you will unlock through the fire and flames. You could also purchase a variety of songs via the shop. There's also co-op mode so you can play with friends. Multiplayer is also available to play against or with online players. Joe was the one who actually got me into this game. He first shown it to me at the arcades and we spent countless hours there playing it and I dread to think how much money we pumped into the machine. We've had so much fun in this game over the years and to this day we still very much enjoy playing it. Fun fact WOW! Aside from challenging games to set world records of their own, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock claimed its own world records when it became the first title to make over $1 billion in sale. Upon its launch in October 2007, Activision stated it was the largest product launch ever, shifting more than 1.4 million copies and making over $100 million in the first week, 
Within three months, it managed to claim the title of best-selling game of 2007. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So at number one, we have Black Ops. I think for this one, we want to include Black Ops 1, 2 and 3 as a whole. So mostly everyone has heard of Call of Duty Black Ops. For us, we have had a lot of memories on these games, especially Black Ops 1. Before we lived together, most of our evenings after college would consist of playing Black Ops 1 online together for hours. We had so much fun, and when Black Ops 2 came out, we enjoyed it, but probably not as much as Black Ops 1. By the time Black Ops 3 came out, we were living together. We think it's a great game, and we have fun every time we play it. We think it deserves the number one spot because we have spent countless hours playing this game online, and believe we will be putting many more hours into the game. Fun fact! Wow! Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is the first instalment in the Call of Duty franchise to add gunsmith and paint shop, which allows you to further customise your weapons for a multiplayer match. Black Ops 3 is also only the second Call of Duty where you can see your legs after Call of Duty Ghosts. So thank you guys for watching this week's Top 5 Activision Games. We hope you enjoyed it and be sure to let us know what games you like by, made by Activision or yeah. let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, so and if there's any Top 5s you would like to see in the comment section below so um we've got a load more videos coming out this week for you guys to enjoy and uh, i guess we'll see you in the next video goodbye everyone